Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to cover what it's like owning three large dogs. I'm Elizabeth and I've owned and raised dogs of all breeds, size, types for over 20 years now. All of my three dogs are outside, they're chilling, playing while I'm in here making this video. And currently I have a Doberman, a female Doberman. She is about, she's going to turn five years old in a couple months. Her name is Nixie. I have a female Roddy mix with German Shepherd and she is going to turn two years old in a couple months. And then I also have my Kanye Corso Lincoln and he just turned one in January. He's my male Kanye Corso Lincoln. So yes, I have two females and a male. So the first thing you should know about when owning a pack of dogs is dominance. Now, I see it in my dogs all the time. They're trying to dominate one another, but me as their leader, their pack leader, I do not let Roddy things correct, get escalated so. out of control. I like to keep a peaceful household, a peaceful family. So I always jump in when I hear trouble. There are also multiple reasons why they could be going at it with each other and there is a hierarchy between the three dogs, the leader, within that pack when I'm not around. The next thing is competition. So there is competition between my three dogs for a few things, including my attention, food, toys, play, and whatnot. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The next thing is their food and poop. It's a lot. A lot of food and a lot of poop. So they're each eating about four cups per day. Multiply that by three, so that's 12 cups of food a day, which is a lot. And they poop around three times each. So that's about nine poops per day. But just as there's a lot of responsibility that comes with owning more than just one dog, there's also a lot of love that comes with owning more than one dog. That's multiple amounts of love. Then there's training. I have to train each of them individually so they have that one-to-one -one bonding time as well as training as a group so that they know how to act when they're around each other. There's also their feeding. So depending on the dog's personality, they can all eat together or separate. My dogs do pretty, generally do pretty well when they eat together, but I do like to keep it separate, mainly because Lincoln is a hungry monster and he will attempt to try to eat the girl's food, but the girls will correct him from trying to get their food. It's not so much resource guarding with them because when I step in, they don't show those tendencies, but with Lincoln, they do show those tendencies and it makes sense why. <laughs> it's more so of a warning, like back off, step off, this is my food kind of a situation, at least with Lincoln, because sometimes he's still an adolescent dog and he's still learning his boundaries and his way so sometimes he doesn't know his own footing and he will overstep and that's when the girls come in and they correct next thing is time it's three times more time that it takes to take care of them with training and feeding and looking out for them and trying to juggle multiple dogs and making sure that there's peace just like with my children with my two girls I have to juggle between those two as well. There's competition between my girls as well. The civil rivalry, it's a thing. So it's no different than raising kids as it is raising dogs. The next thing to consider is vacationing. So we haven't gone on vacation for a couple years now due to you know that thing going around but we're gonna go on vacation in a couple weeks and we are going to be boarding the three dogs i don't want to leave them home alone where we are going to be gone for a week so leaving them home alone is a big no-no they already got into mischief when i had to leave them home about the same amount of time as a work day time i did have to leave them home for about seven hours to run a few errands and we did have an event to go to so we left them home alone and they found their own jobs to do while we were out and unfortunately they broke our fence and they got into our backyard and yeah i posted up a video on my tiktok and my instagram as well if you guys are interested to see that video but yeah they 
there are a handful. So with vacations is three times the costs and that's one thing to consider. That's something to remember. Playtime and exercise is three different times. I can't go running or walking the three dogs all together mainly because I know Lincoln is not ready. He's still very young and he's still in training. It will take him some time to get used to how to react, especially when there's another dog in the mix because he does follow. He is a follower and he will follow the other girls into what they're doing and Misty, she still needs some refining as well so I'm only able to take two dogs at a time and handle two dogs so that's twice as long. It does minimize it a little bit because it cuts back on one but there's still that extra time needed. And playtime, I do like to play with all three of them together, but then they also do need that individual playtime as well so they can bond with you. And lastly, who do you love more? This is such a funny question. It's like asking which of my two human kids do I love more? Now, I love them each in their own individual ways. They have things that I love and they have things that just push my buttons a little bit. I can tell you that Nixie, my Doberman, I loved her longer, but that doesn't mean that I love her more than I love Misty or Lincoln. And if you're interested in my next video, you can go ahead and click this one right here and it is on who is the beta dog in the family and why. So thanks for watching. I would love it if you hit that like button. Comment down below a paw print if you made it this far in the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.